Hello everyone and welcome to our 4.08 lab. It's about heat transfer and this is just a short video to help you get on track. We aren't going to do this one fully together but I wanted to tell you some things about it to help you do it really well. First of all, we're trying to figure out what materials slow heat transfer. And I have a beautiful picture of insulation here. That's something that's in the walls of your house to make your house stay warm and keep the cold out in the winter. And it does lots of other things too. So in general, heat moves from hot objects to cold objects. And so um, it does that through three different ways, convection, conduction, and radiation. Those are ways that heat moves, and we're going to learn more about those as our class moves forward. Heat keeps moving until something reaches a spot called thermal equilibrium, or where things are at an equal temperature. And you know this. If you put ice water out overnight and let it sit out, it's going to become room temperature, right? The ice will melt, and the cold water will get warmer until it is equal with the temperature in the room. What to do? You need page 27 of your physical science lab guide and the graded lab report either from doc sharing or on the left hand navigation of the course, either one. Um, you also are going to need to gather your lab supplies. I have them listed here on the right. You can pause the video and get those there. We will run hot water over a cookie sheet and then place it on your work surface, which is either going to be your table or counter with one edge propped up just a little bit with clay balls. It just needs to be propped up like a centimeter, teeny tiny bit of propping up. Then we're going to place three different squares of different substances. One square of rubber, one of aluminum foil, and one of bubble wrap. Their size doesn't matter. You just need to make sure that all three fit on the, your cookie sheet with a little extra space on the side. Because in the next step, you're simply going to take three or four ice cubes. There they are on the video here. And you're going to put one on the rubber, one on the aluminum foil, one on the bubble wrap, and then one straight on that warm cookie sheet that's propped up on that clay. And basically from this point, all you're going to do is watch ice melt. <laughs> you're going to check it every five or ten minutes, whatever works best for your schedule. And you're going to just record the time in minutes when your ice cube has fully melted. And hopefully you see which substance is better at insulating or which ice cube stays whole the longest. Enjoy! 